Welcome to another episode of Innkeeper Goes to the Movies. Today, we will be reviewing Housewife. A young girl named Holly witnesses her mother brutally murder her sister and father. Now, an adult and housewife to a famous author and artist, she lives a rather boring and simple life. Memories of her childhood tragedy begin to resurface, especially when her husband begins work on a painting that is eerily similar to a drawing she made the night of the murders. Shortly after, a long-lost friend appears at her doorstep after two years of not having any contact with each other. Things start to get even more strange after she attends a seminar held by some end-of-days cult leader, the same cult her friend had joined before losing touch. Holly's world quickly devolves into madness as the lines between dreams and reality begin to blur. It all becomes clear when Holly realizes she needs to make a decision that may affect the rest of her future. I very highly and thoroughly enjoyed this film. It's hard to put into a specific category as it's not a psychological or supernatural horror, nor is it a creature feature. I think I would do best by comparing it to In the Mouth of Madness. It's a hell of a fun ride with deliciously sinister and some outright gruesome scenes. The movie has themes of destiny, belief, and having a higher purpose. Also the insignificance of family, love, and friendship are running themes. The gore was well done with great special effects, especially considering the budget. The acting was mediocre at best, but I wouldn't expect much more from this type of film, so I wouldn't hold it against it. The soundtrack was very good, creating mystery when necessary and guiding our emotions throughout the journey. There is one scene near the end with a mask and shortly after a birth that is just absolutely and absurdly insane. It is Lovecraftian horror at its finest. The ending was awesome and I was cheering the entire time. It's one of those Lovecraftian films that's just pure fun. The length is good and the film doesn't overstay its welcome. It does what it came to do and then goes on its way. It's not something I minded too much though. After all, it's not meant to be anything but a fun little cosmic horror flick. Um, it's not perfect though, and there are some character development issues. For example, we really don't get much about Holly and her husband's life prior to the events in the film. Most characters are kind of bland, and I didn't feel like I got to know any of them, or the reasons for any of their decisions, even the main protagonist. It's nothing terrible, but I think the poor character development can make this film easily forgettable, which is a shame given the amazing ending of the movie. I guess this kind of makes it feel like a short film, even though it is a feature-length film. Overall, I had a blast watching this movie and would highly recommend it to anyone who loves cosmic horror. I give it four mental trauma. I hope you found this review helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Down there. And I'll be happy to respond. Thank you very much for watching. This is Twisted Tentacle Inn, and I am your innkeeper, Vase Odin. Check in anytime. I'll talk to you soon.